Okay. Now, we're looking at the January 2020 past paper and previously I looked at some tips, my own personal tips and so on in managing your time. And I said we're going to actually start doing the questions. But before we actually start doing question one, let's take 10 minutes to read over the the paper itself they say that when you're going to start the paper you have 10 minutes to write up your information and read over all right so this clock here is saying 921 if we use seven minutes three minutes to write up and seven minutes to read so it's 921 Let's see if we can go on until 9.28, alright, until 9.28. So, question 10. Let's see how much we can read over between 9.21 and 9.28. It's question 10. You look at question 10 and it says the transformation. It's a vector and matrix question. It maps R onto R prime, shown in the diagram below. So it maps R onto R prime. What they're saying is that you should determine the value of P and Q. So the value of P and Q, okay, that's matrices and transformation. Describe fully the transformation M and then PQ. PQRS is a parallelogram in which PQ is U and PS is V. M is a midpoint. No, M is a point on QS, okay, such that QM to MS is 1 to 2. All right, you get the point right in terms of U and V, an expression. For QS, QM, and show that MR is that. T is the midpoint on PQ. Prove that R, M, and T are collinear. Alright. So that was question 10. Let's look at what question 9 is saying. So question 9. Okay, so geometry and trigonometry question. You have the circle. Okay. The angles. Write down the mathematical names of the straight lines. Okay. BC and OA. Okay. Determine the value of each of the angles. Show detail working where necessary. And the reason why. Then you have a bearing question. Bearing's question. Calculate the angle W. Alright. So you see that. Determine the bearing of P from Q and the distance P, the distance RP, the bearing of P from Q and the distance RP. Okay. That's question 9. Let's see what question 8 says. You must solve this pair of simultaneous equations. Okay. Solve this pair of simultaneous equations. Not the ordinary simultaneous equation because one is one of them is quadratic. Then function f is defined as that. The express f in terms of 
x a plus h squared plus k state the minimum value of f of x and determine the equation of the axis of symmetry okay then you have a velocity time graph for the seconds you have three stages of the journey determine the acceleration at each stage okay that's question eight question seven You have a sequence of figures made up of stars, dots and sticks of different lengths. Okay, good. And you, I guess you must show the next figure in the sequence. Oh, it says each row relates to the figure in the sequence above. Some rows have been have not been included in the table so you must fill in the missing rows and you must come up with some formula the total determine the total number of dots okay determine the total number of dots so that was question That was what? Question 7. Let's see what question 6 is saying. So, okay, it's really tight like measurements question. You have circles that fit exactly in the, tra in the rectangle. Are you sure that the area of the rectangle is so and so? Alright. Calculate the area of the shaded region and then you have to calculate some angle here in this triangle. Okay, you probably would have to use the sine and cosine rule there. So that was question six. Question 5. You have cumulative frequency curve. So that's statistics. Alright. You have statistics for question 5. Now, you have 928. So I assume that you would use the first 3 minutes of the first 10 minutes to write up your forms and then you use seven minutes to read over some of these questions and get an idea what's to come later all right and it's now 9 28 according to this clock from 9 21 when we started and then you're ready you are ready to start question one all right now and said we're going to actually start answering the question but since we had that many minutes in the in this video what we'll do is just break from this and start the next video with answering actually answering question one all right so i will see you then